Let's do a carry dump and review on the VanQuest EDCM 2.0 Slim Maximizer Pouch. I carried this for four months, so is this better than the rest? This is the VanQuest EDCM 2.0 Slim Maximizer. It's the EDC pouch, Yeah, let me show you here. This is the wolf gray, but also comes in black, coyote tan, and red, if your intent is to use it as a first aid kit. Lots of things going on with this, we can tell. A lot, and I haven't even opened it up for you yet. Ooh, yep, see that? A lot of stuff happening. Well, as we do with all the EDC pouches, we will do a carry dump. All right, this is what I've been carrying in it. Boy, where to start? All right, let's go over here on the left-hand side. I have a mouse that I carry with me. Let's see, and a dongle, because I carry a Mac. I work with a Mac, and this is dongle heaven. When you have Macs, let's see, I think that's all. Oh, no, I still have a few others in here. Let's see, I think that's it. Uh, I've got my charging cable here. I've got a pair of clippers. I've got a charging cable right here for my wireless headphones. And I got some six and ones. We've talked about these six and ones before. Really like these. I have a couple of them just for use. And I kind of double up on some of that. If we go over here. This is another six and one, but a little longer of a cable. I've got a couple dongles right here. Let's pull these out. Yeah, dongle heaven. A uh, little multi tool here. It's a Gerber little multi tool, which I quite like. And we go to the inside. Here's my charging brick, which is pretty slim. And let's see what else we've got. And we have an Narwalco mar uh, micro pin right here. And so these pins are for sale. If you'd like to look at them a little bit closer, look at the description. Now these are my usual items I, I carry from tech pouch to tech pouch so that we can see how they fit as we go along. So let's get into a feature review. We talk about the exterior, we have this grab handle. It's, I find this very useful actually. I thought, wow, that's in the way, but really useful. Uh, exterior front slip pocket right here where you can put things in. You've also got a morale patch panel right here. Put any kind of a Velcro you want. And a YKK zipper. It's a dual zipper. And it has along with it paracord loops. And it's reversed for protection. Can we lock together, and it can be locked together via these, this little loop right here if you want to keep this secure. On the back we have this exterior Molly Pals webbing right here. Useful for modular attachments or securing to larger items. If you want to attach this to a larger item. Uh, you have a backpack, whatever it might be, that also has a, a Molly webbing system. Now, if we go to the interior, let's open this up. We have two attachment, or three attachment loops. One right here, here, and here. Now, th these are really nice if you want to attach things to them, like we see right here. Of course, uh, this is for keys or whatever else you, flashlight, whatever else you want to put there, and that's just attached using that para. We have the six inch loop tether right here, which is quite nice, and two large interior storage pockets one on each side. Goes all the way to the bottom, nothing else interfering uh, with it there. We have a loop right up here, which I used for a pen, it's great for that. And then we've got here 23 interior web slots. Now these are maximizer offset, that's how this gets its name, because uh, of the offset design that increase, increases usability space. Now we can see this right here. Uh, you can see that we have webbing right here and here and here, but you can notice that we don't have a double webbing over the top it's split. So where we have the seams of where it's sewn in, we have an offset webbing. And what that provides is greater distribution so you can store more things without it becoming too lumpy. So it actually helps. The idea is that instead of it being like this, it actually makes it more like this. And I found this really, really useful. It measures 8 by 6 by 1.25 and it weighs 142 grams or 5 ounces. Not bad for all that you get. As you can see, there is a lot going on with this EDC pouch. This is designed in the United States and made in Taiwan or Vietnam. Exterior is made from a 1000 military grade Cordura fabric, which is water repellent. It's got a Teflon coating to it and it's a, you know, that's a DuPont product that's applied. The interior right here is made from a high visibility, lightweight and moisture resistant 210D ripstop nylon. And this webbing we are looking at is really a high tensile strength nylon webbing uh, and binder tapes which will retain their form when not used, which means they're not going to stretch out very easily. 
Now for all this love, you can have it for $36 on their website or $44 on Amazon. I think that is incredibly reasonable for what we get here. Now you think that the grab handle would not be useful, but you'd be wrong. It's easy to find when I'm trying to pull this out of a, uh, this pouch out of my backpack or briefcase. And yes, I've been using this with my Tumi briefcase. I think it works brilliantly. People give me a weird look when I bring in my nice briefcase and I pull this thing out. But honestly, the other thing I really love about this Compared to other tech pouches I've carried, I really like how this opens up completely. It just lays everything out. And so instead of being like this and you have to dig in to grab things, you just lay it all out, grab what you need, and away you go. Now, while not the smallest tech pouch I've used, I, but I've appreciated its ability to evenly spread out the contents, which really comes to this maximizer. And when it closes, it's just not that thick. I mean, it is but it just doesn't feel that way because of how it spreads. Now, while I use this as a tech pouch, this can be used to organize and carry almost anything. It's a great EDC organizer, and it's meant to address all the smaller items you may want to carry, but aren't quite sure how you want to store them in a meaningful way. But to that end, the VanQuest EDC M 2.0 Slim Maximizer is awesome. So now onto the final score. For quality of five, price of five. Seriously, can you beat that price? I'm not putting you up to a test, I'm just saying that. Features of five, usability of four, and perception of four. Amazing, 4.6 out of five is the final score there. That matches the highest rating pouch we've seen and tops all other tech products so far. So what was I comparing this to? Well, look at this video next and we'll see you in the next review, bye.